In last week's episode, I talked about how to insert a drop-down menu into the text area so that you can control the category axis of a bar chart. Um, but in that video, I mentioned that it wasn't appropriate to select that box that said none. Um, but there are certain situations where you do want to have that, that box checked to none. Uh, so that's what this video is about today. When to use none in your property control dropdown. So we're going to start with the same file that we ended with in the last video, um, but I'm just going to duplicate this page. Right click on the page and select duplicate active page and that creates a copy. And the first thing we'll do is remove this property value from the X axis or from the category axis. So right click on the axis and select remove all. And we're going to change this instead of the well, we're going to change this to production date. So I'm going to select the year, month, day of month. And we can see that this data set has production data for the month of April 2015. And on the value axis, we see that this is summing up the barrels of oil per day for each day in the month. So this is the total amount produced for both field one and field two, or all of the wells combined. Uh, for this particular day. Uh, so maybe we do want to see it at that level, but we also might want to see it at a more detailed level. So we might be interested in seeing like, what is the production of each well on each day? Or what is the production for the total field on, on a given day? So the way that we can compare those things simultaneously is use the trellis feature. So I'm going to go into the properties uh, by double clicking on the header and go to the trellis section of the properties. And we could use the drop down here um, and put field and we can see how it splits this up into the two different fields, field one and field two, or we can select well. So we can see the individual wells. But the problem with that is that it's kind of fixed at this point and it, it's a, it takes several clicks to go back in there to change it between well and field. But we can use the property control that we've already created to switch between well and field. So we'll do that the same way as with the category axis, just right click in here and select set from property. And we see a list of the properties pop up. We only have one. So select that, make sure it's highlighted and then click OK. And click close. So now we can use this drop down that we already created to switch between the trellising by field or trellising by well. So if I switch it to field, you get the fields and well, you see the wells. Um, but there is a limitation here because we can't go back to that view that had all of the fields and all of the wells combined. So if you want to see the total production for all of the wells, we can't see that anymore. So that's where we use that option on the, the property control to select none. So if we had the option here of none, it would remove the trellis and we would see that original graph that we started with, with all of the production summed up on one day. So I'll show you how to do that now. So even though we've already created this property control, we can go back and we can edit it. So to do that, right click anywhere in this text area and, set, and select edit text area, the first one on the menu. And that makes this active for editing. And then right click on this drop down and select edit control. And that brings up this menu that you've seen before. Uh, so we see that we've set this, this property through column selection um, and we have two columns selected, but this box is not selected. So all we have to do is check this box and then say, okay. And then you click anywhere out of that text box to deactivate it. And you can go back in, click on the drop down, and you see that we have this third option now, which is called none. And if we select that, we go back to this original chart. It's not trellising it by anything. So on a given day, this is the sum of the barrels of oil per day for all of the wells in both fields. We can also use this property control to control the color by feature. So if we want to switch between coloring it by well, so you see the different wells and how they contribute to the total, or by field, we can also do that with a property control. So I'm going to go back into the properties to trellis and remove this. Well, in order to remove it, you have to have something selected. So we'll select field and then we can go back into the properties and right click and say remove all. And you set it the same way as the others. Right click 
in this color by section and select set from property and then select the property. So now we can use this drop down to figure out what to color by. So field is selected and we can switch to well and we can see it updates. Or if you don't want to color by anything, you can select none. So that's pretty cool. But I think the most powerful combination of this might be to use the properties to control the trellis and the color by, uh, but you don't want to have to go back and forth into those properties. So what we'll do is edit this text area, copy this control by selecting it and pressing control C, put your cursor behind it and then press enter and then press control V. We'll make this a little bigger. So now we have the same property control duplicated. I want to use the first one as a color by and the second one as a trellis by. So after you make those changes, click out of the text box, which deactivates it, and then you can change it. So if I change it to field, you can see that these both update to say field. And we don't want that to happen. We want these to be independent. So the reason why that they're both updating is because they both are being controlled by the same property control. So we need to create a new property control, one for the color by and one for the trellis by. So we'll leave the color by as the original property that we made, but we'll edit the trellis by. So right click anywhere in the text area and select edit text area. Right click on this control, this drop down, and select edit control. And we're going to just create a new one that's called well or field two. So we'll click new and leave everything else the same. Click OK. It defaults to the previous one, so we still have well or field two, and we have these two columns, well or field, and we'll make sure this box is still selected. Um, so all I have to do is click OK, and now we have these two property controls. One is well or field, and the other is well or field two. So I can set the trellis by field and the color by well. So now all we have to do is change the trellis by and the color by to each one of these property controls to control them independently. So our first box up here, this is well or field, and we'll use that on the color by. So we can right click and select set from property and we'll select well or field. And the other one is the trellis by. So we'll go to the properties, select trellis, right click and say set from property and this is well or field too and then click OK and close. So now you can see that it's trellising it by field. So we have field one and field two, and it's coloring it by well. And you can see the contribution of each well for each field. Then I can switch this to none if you don't want to see the color by, and then you can click trellis by to none as well. And you can kind of play around with different combinations depending on what you're trying to see. So that's it. Uh, if you have any questions or any comments, please leave them in the comment section below this blog post. Thank you very much.